don't have those answers just yet. But again, they are just beginning this investigation. For now, we are live near Kingwood. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jennifer. It was the story and video you saw first in our newscast at 4 o'clock. Dozens of units damaged in an apartment fire in West Houston. While fighting that fire, first responders rescued several pets. That was the scene around 1 o'clock this afternoon. But then just four hours later, a different scene entirely at the same complex. This time, a murder. A man shot to death. Jonathan Martinez just spoke to a woman who tried to help the victim and joins us live with that part of the story. Jonathan? Yeah, Bill, police are still loud here. We can tell you it's been a chaotic scene for several hours. First, you have an apartment fire on the other side of the building. Then a couple of hours passed and gunshots ring out in this apartment complex. Uh, in fact, finding a body out here is what some of the residents did. They tried to help that guy, even tried to perform CPR on him. It's definitely sad. I feel really bad for, for my neighbor. A domestic disturbance leading to deadly gunfire. A handful of neighbors at the West Chase Ranch apartment complex rushing to help the person shot. I think he was already gone by then, but then uh, me and someone else, uh, someone else tried to do CPR, but it didn't work. And about like a minute after that, ambulance came. Police say an argument between a man and a woman escalated to gunshots. That woman is now downtown at HPD headquarters. Well, right now uh, we have, we're speaking to one person um, and uh, so we'll take it from there and then he gets here, we'll be able to identify him. And Hours earlier at the very same complex, a major fire damaging nearly two dozen units. The cause remains under investigation, but several families displaced. I mean, after the fire this morning and then this. Two unrelated scenes separated by only a few apartment buildings, but certainly enough to leave this entire complex shaken. Like you watch TV and you see this kind of stuff and then and then, you know, right where you live, they're roping off crime scene like, yeah, it's definitely surreal. And we talk with another lady who tells us she knows the man who was shot and killed. In fact, she tells us that he went to check on her because she was impacted by the fire just hours ago. She never knew that a couple of hours would pass and she would come and find her friend shot and killed out here. We are reporting live from the city's west side. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jonathan.